Well, she's helping you spend less money on groceries. Erin Chase from Five Dollar Dinners always has some really great ideas, and she has 400,000 followers on Facebook, over 20,000 on Instagram. So and people reason, turn to her for answers. Yeah, the reason is is because it is easy to, you know, you, you think about trying to make dinner and maybe plan ahead with it, and this is the perfect setup that you have right here. Exactly. So I have four boys that I have to feed every mm. single day. Mm -hmm. We've talked about this before. That can get exhausting. Thing. And so prep ahead with freezer meals. So this is a little bit different from cooking every meal that you're going to eat that week. So this is prep ahead, put them in the freezer, you'll eat them the next couple of weeks. So maybe something to do on a uh, couple hours on a Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon, okay. Tuesday morning when the kids are at school, whenever. We have to not avoid the proper tools here. Or, or not, <laughs> we've got to talk about mm -hmm. them. And this thing is just amazing. So. so these are our freezer meal bag holders. They hold the bag open so that you do not make a giant mess on your countertop while you're adding all the sauces and ingredients into the bags and then they fold flat so you can easily store them in your drawers. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> all right, where are we starting? Mm -hmm. All right, so we are going to do three dump dinners, if you will. So we've already put the meat into the bags. We're going to start with this salmon. Mm -hmm. This is a lemon pepper salmon and all that you need to add in with it is the lemon juice, the fresh about, squeezed lemon juice. About how big of a hunk of salmon is that? That's a little over a pound. So okay. you want to do about a quarter pound per, per serving, right. per, mm -hmm. you know, portion okay. size wise. And that's just a lemon pepper seasoning blend. There's already a little salt in there, so we don't need to add salt. Oh. And then you can you can seal that up. And that's it. That's okay. it. Yep. Drop the bag. There you go. Seal it up, and then. I kind of like to roll the bags to get the air out of there. That way that you reduces the, the chance of freezer burn. So I would take this and just yep, kind of just kind of flatten it up, roll it, roll it up. Itself, okay, and just yep. get as much out as possible and yep. then continue and there we have. Right and you don't on. have that air taking up room in the freezer. You want to thaw the salmon completely in your fridge, the, uh, you know, overnight. Mm -hmm. You don't want to start cooking salmon if it's partially frozen because it's such a delicate meat and you don't want any of it to overcook and it okay. so so thaw that completely it. before yeah. baking it. Yes. So this would be a baking dish. So and then this the other two. is slow cooker. This is a shredded chicken that you can use pretty much for anything. It always ends up being tacos at my house. So <laughs> to the chicken breasts, you can add the green chilies, just a, a four ounce can of green chilies. About a half a cup of your favorite red salsa mm -hmm. is going to go in there as well. And we are going to add a little brown sugar, and that's just to kind of soften up the, the diced green chilies. And then we want that smoky flavor from the ground cumin. So you want to mm. add the cumin and the chili Ooh, powder. Awesome. Wow. Gives it that extra pop of that taco, you know, seasoning mix that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So that's really fresh, you know, ingredients, uh, real ingredients. And then you want to do that same thing where you kind of roll it up. Mm -hmm and get as much air out as you can. And with the chicken, you can kind of flatten it. I, I People say all the time, oh, they'll take up too much space in the freezer. Well, if you flat freeze and stack with a piece of either freezer paper, wax paper, parchment paper in between, oh. you can kind of like Tetris your meals. Oh. Then when you need to pull them out, that paper will keep the bags from, from sticking. sticking together. Mm -hmm. Right. The next one is a Mississippi beef roast. So we want to add pepper first, maybe about half of that pepper there, just to get it right on there. This has a wonderful sauce after it cooks. This We're going to also do a packet of ranch dressing mix. Really fantastic flavor. And then we're combining that with the pepperoncini pepper. And if you've never had those, they're very similar to... It's like a banana pepper. They're very similar to banana yeah. peppers. They have a little bit more zing to them. And so the ranch plus the pepper plus the beef and the pepperoncini all together makes for this really magical beef. And if you slow cook this beef, which is the easiest way to cook this, then it shreds really nicely and it soaks in all that extra juice and flavor. And this is, uh, you know, half your week's worth of uh, dinners right there. Right. And, and I, again, like I said, I like to double up. So that's this week. Okay. And then I don't have to worry about dinner in the next coming weeks. Fantastic ideas. And, and you have, um, five, you know, you do $5 dinners, right? Yes. So what are some examples of those recipes? All of these right here, $5 dinners, anything that you can mix quickly up mm -hmm. with different spices like we just did with those chicken tacos. And tell folks how to get something like that that you're holding. This is our freezer meal plan. Uh -huh that we have. This is the special one I printed for you guys here. And this has all of the recipes, doubling up for the freezer, shopping lists for all the ingredients if you're going to uh, double everything up, as well as step-by-step -step instructions. What we just did here, I will literally one at a time, line by line, walk you through that process.
And again, you get these uh, little things on her website as well, and that makes it so much simpler. Instead of going, here, trying to hold this up. Oh, I knew like little rabbit that. ears. I knew <laughs> you were going to do that. <laughs> they are, though. Let's see if I can get you <laughs> <see laughs> get UHF now. So, anyway. Are you getting answers? For more information on $5 dinners from Aaron Chase and where to get the oh, fun little antenna that can also hold up plastic bags, just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.